All right, so now we're down on Aston's Beach. We've uh, just rebuilt the pumps and now we're gonna go and do a bit of digging. This is what the beach looks like at the moment. It's quite a small tide. I think it's only like a 6.9, seven meter tide. So this is what we're, we're pumping for, digging for. This is the lug worm. I would definitely recommend wearing gloves because the moment you, you go to squeeze these, like that, if you give them a squeeze behind the back of the head, get the guts out, but you get a terrible yellow dye that comes out of them and they really do make a mess and it is hard to scrub off. So let's start doing a bit more pumping and see how we get on. That's it. Okay, so this is the depth that I plan to go and I'm hoping to show you when, um, when I'm pumping that you'll see that this would be my marker. It's more muscle memory. I mean, I don't use this marker for myself, but it's just to show you that I'm pretty constant on the depth that I go. See, there's a worm already. It's small, but we'll let that one go. There's another one. But what you need to do you need to be smooth with the pump. I see so many people, they put, they put the pump, they put the pump in and they yank it. Just be smooth. You've got to concentrate on getting the pump in to that depth of the worm. And then get it into where you are and then just pull it nice and smooth. But I see some people, they put the pump in and they're trying their hardest to push the pump into the sand. You don't, when you put the pump in the ground, you need to apply a little bit of pressure, get it to that yellow mark. We were not pumping on a worm now, I'm just trying to show you. Look. There's a few worms there. We'll do a few more and see how we get on. Right, so okay, this is this is the cast there. I'm normally I'm about three inches away. I'd say not even 45 degree angle. This is a bit stony yet. Here we go. There you go. So just be nice and smooth and give them, a, give them a quick squeeze, get all the guts out. I tend to wrap mine um, and I don't leave them alive. So I'll wash these and then I'll wrap them in newspaper. Make sure you get all the, all the guts out. Nice worm. Now push it to that yellow mark and then but you're, pull, you're pulling the handle too soon. You've got to you got to like push and then yeah. that's it better that's it there you go <laughs> see hey nice and gentle so this is the guy who's second time he probably pumped about probably pumped about 30 worms go on Mick give it another go there you go look at that Is that beginner's luck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice one, Dave. That's a, that's a nice worm, that one. See, and then what you do is get hold of it like that, give it a squeeze, just run the guts out. But you need to try and take the, 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 the guts out. I mean, they're a bit, they will stiffen up. Mark, don't need to go no deeper than that. You go, if you go too deep, you're just going to end up with towels. That's what a lot of people do get. You just need to push the pump in, up to the yellow mark. And there's your worm. So that's small, so we'll let, we'll let it go. So anyway, so we're going to put, there's a the cast, three inches away. We're going to push the pump in, pull the handle up nice and smooth. There it is. We've got a few worms there. Okay, so this is your worst nightmare. I've been pumping, 
And here we are, we've got a stone stuck in there already. Dude, you're going to use the, the C as hydraulic pressure. So you'll suck it up, and then it'll push it out. What you try and do? Push it out, and there's the stone there. The stone's out. But as you can see, it's burned the end over a little bit, but they get us through today. Right now, you hear all these people say when they're down there bait digging, they dig with the tide behind their back, or they dig in one direction. You don't have to worry about that. You could just you could dig anywhere you want. You can have the tide to your back. The only time I turn my back is when it's windy, and I don't want the wind and the sand in my face, so I just turn my back to the wind. But you haven't got to worry about, um, I want the tide to be better when I'm bait digging. It don't really matter. You can, I can walk all the way around this hole or in any direction and I'll get the worm if I'm lucky enough. So let's have a go. So you don't get it on the second time, just move on. But don't don't rush. I mean, if you're if you're if you're new to bait digging, be patient. And as I say, try not to go past that 10 inches. Put a mark, measure the end of your pump up. Put a bit of tape there as a marker. And then after a while, you'll just get used to going that depth. And sometimes, as I said, you don't even need to go that deep. Sometimes, uh, but don't go no deeper than that 10 and a half inches, 11 inches at the maximum. Oh, you're just going to be wasting your time you'll get upset the pump will go back in the garage or the shed and it'll just stay there and you'll end up buying bait and it, it's it is pretty simple it just takes a bit of time and a bit of effort and a bit of patience <laughs> 